everyone and uh, welcome to a video that I was supposed to do forever ago. So remember two months ago when I came out with that whole video of me trying to replicate my art or my art style on my face and then I said I was gonna make that into a series. I uh, it took a... here it is! Here's the second video for that. It's oh, It's been almost three months actually. No, two months almost two months time is an illusion so i am going to actually be attempting to do one of my friends art style art on my face um so his name is dylan and he goes by neuronvia i guess how do you pronounce this i'm so sorry i don't know how to pronounce neuronvia neuronvia i i don't know how to pronounce it i should have asked you beforehand but he is an amazing artiste and um, I recommend you go follow him on Twitter. I'll put everything up here. Twitter, Instagram, I don't know what else he has. Um, but yeah, very great art. And when I said I wanted to make this into a series, he was the first artist I thought of replicating art on my face because he has a very, very recognizable art style. So I'm just gonna get on that right now. I have some references of his art and the first thing I'm gonna do is the blush. So for the most part, the blush that he uses on his characters tend to be more of an orangey color, more like a peachy um, colors, at, I think, I don't know. It, sometimes they're uh, pink, more pink than peach. Um, but I just feel like a lot of the art that I look at from him is peach. So I'm gonna go with peach. So, Oh yeah, also I'm wearing this sweater because he really likes to use like saturated colors, like really highly saturated colors in his art. And I notice a lot of yellow and orange. Um, maybe that's because I mostly look at his Haikyuu art and it's like Nishinoya and he always does Nishinoya and like orange and yellow. But I this is like the most neon thing I own so I thought it was appropriate. Anyways, peach blush. I'm going to be using something from this. Is I don't know. I don't. I don't know the name of it, but you can see it. Look, uh, in Dylan's art, I've noticed that the the blush is pretty noticeable, but it's not like overwhelming. Like you'll see in my art, sometimes the blush that I use is like super overwhelming. However, I'm kind of like going moving away from that. I think, especially because I'm drawing a lot of like fan art, and you know, I just you know, if it's like myself, like my persona, I'll make the blush really noticeable now. Um, but yeah, so his blush isn't as noticeable. But it's still pretty noticeable, I guess. And I, it is a big surface area. I think I'm making the blush a little bit too blushy. It's fine. It doesn't matter if I make mistakes because, like, who cares? You only... I was going to say you only live once, but I don't know if I really want to say that. Like, I don't want to YOLO on my last 2020 video. I'm so glad 2020 is over. Not like it's going to be much of a difference in 2021. Oh my god, I have like 20 emails that I have to get back to. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I remember that right now, but I just did. Um, he also does a blush over the nose, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, there we go. I like how I was like, the blush isn't that big in your face, and then I do blush like this. Like, I'm just so used to caking on the blush. Another thing I noticed in Dylan's art is that, um, not in every character he draws, but in a lot of characters, he likes to give them freckles and um, like I said, it's not every character so it's not like I necessarily have to do this but if I want my face to be recognizably Dylan's art style, I feel like maybe I should try to give myself freckles. I just look like I have really big pieces of dirt on my face but I mean, it do be like that sometimes, you know? They are like mostly, can you see, they're like triangles on my face just because of the shape of the brush, but it's fine. Have you guys, have I shown you guys how cool these brushes are that I have, these makeup brushes? They have, it's like a little snow globe. Look, how cool is that? I've been wanting these brushes forever and I finally got them for myself a long time ago. Actually, I think it was like this year, like in May. But anyways, I just realized that there was something I was supposed to do before the freckles. So this is going to make things a little bit harder, but it's fine we always do this on this channel i like to make things hard for myself so if you look at dylan's art you will notice i'm trying so hard not to scratch my freckles off you will notice that he draws faces that are like chiseled like so chiseled like they're chiseled from the gods themselves 
I have a circle face. I am a very round person. So this is gonna be kind of hard. I don't know how to chisel my face even like outside of this challenge thing or whatever this is. I don't know how to use bronzer or contour. I don't know how to contour my face. Is that the word for it? So it's gonna be kind of hard but I'm gonna do my best. He usually just uses a color that he shades in so it can be anywhere from peachy color to like a purpley color. The bronzer that I have is pretty, um, pretty, like, it's not very saturated. So I don't know if I should use this or if I should try to use, like, a blush color instead. I don't know if I have any blushes that would be good for this. I have this. So this might be good because it's not a very harsh color. Can you even see that? If I did, like, that, do you think that would, like, work? You can't see it, but I'm gonna try this color, I think. And if it's too red, I'll just... I was gonna say I'll delete it, but that is not the word that we use in real life. Mmm. I look like I have a sunburn. But I don't hate it, I'm gonna be honest. I really don't hate this. It just looks like a really interesting artistic choice. I feel like I'm not doing it enough. Like, you have to be able to see it from the front view. Look at that. <laughs> I look like I'm... I look like I'm sunburned. It's fine. Who cares? If I apply this color to more parts of my face, it's just gonna look like really cool shading. Maybe should I try to do like a harsh line to make it look very... <laughs> wow, I just look like a mess and that is how we're gonna end the year. So it's totally fine. So I tried to chisel my face to look like a god and I didn't do it correctly. It's fine. I look weird, but maybe, maybe it looks okay from the side. Look, does my face look like more ovally instead of, um, instead of like a circle? Perhaps. All right, I'm just gonna give up on the chiseled face. It's fine. I'm just gonna be sunburnt on the side. Don't worry about it. I just, I'm gonna do this a little bit. Nothing came off. Man, that's pretty good, I guess, huh? So the last thing I have to do is actually the thing that I was waiting for the whole time. Look, the lipstick. So when he colors lips in, it's usually black on the top lip and then like kind of gray on the bottom lip. I don't necessarily have black lipstick. This is the darkest lipstick I own, which is, uh, it's like a dark purple. Can you see with the, the color? Look at that, that is, it's really pretty. Um, Urban Decay Voodoo. So to try to get that faded color on my bottom lip, I'm just gonna tap it, man. I'm just gonna tap it. Can you tell that my upper lip is is uh, darker than my bottom lip? I hate lipstick because I had this like like little pink part right there. I can never get that to be dry. My lips are always wet, so it's kind of a bummer. But look, this kind of looks this kind of looks like his art, right? So I'm gonna take my hair down. That hurts, and I am going to, I don't know. So he really gives me like 90s skater boy vibes in his art, especially with Nishinoya art. So I'm not really gonna style my hair too much, but I'm gonna just part my hair to the side a bit. Hope that it gives me some volume or something. I don't know. I don't know if there, if I can't do my makeup. Okay, there's one thing I can't do more than my lack of being able to do makeup is my lack of being able to do my hair and my lack of speaking clearly. Oh my God, this eyeliner job is so bad. Oh, I have some clip-ons that I'm sure, he, he does like giving characters piercing, characters, piercings, and I can't have piercings. Look at how pink that air is, but I have clip-ons, so I can just do that. That's fine, right? Dylan, sweetie, I am so sorry. <laughs> I just I just make your art look like a mess, but your art is so genuinely nice. And I thought that maybe I'd be able to do this. Should I just try to do a line? Okay, I'm gonna attempt something. It's gonna be a little bit crazy, but we're gonna try it out, okay? I'm going to attempt to draw a line across my face, a straight line. You know what? I'm already technically done with the look. I can't make it look much worse, right? <gasps> I did it wrong. I have to do it like in and then down. 
it's fine. Mm, yes, I see. So what I should have done is I should have done it like going here and then down. But honestly, like this isn't that bad. Like this is a look, like this is interesting. It's not perfect, it's not clean, but it is something. Should I attempt? I really want to attempt it, but like I just messed up so bad on this, you know? Can I like, I can't blend this out. There's no way I can blend this out. I'm so obsessed with getting like the line of the cheekbones correct that I removed the thing and look at the <laughs> at the <laughs> at the difference oh my god so i um removed all that and uh had to reapply foundation and stuff only to mess up again but if i remove this like if you just ignore that one i think i maybe have it down kind of i probably should have done it like this well, I messed up on both sides. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's the end of 2020 anyways. But like, see if I just ignore this part and I keep, look, chiseled. <laughs> you can't see this line anyway, so you can just rub it out. Oh, I am so bad at wording. <laughs> the lipstick is a cool look, okay? The lipstick is fine. The, the, this part is not that great, but if I just hold my- if I do this... It's fine! What a mess. Oh my god, what a mess! What a mess! It's okay! There. If I just hold my hands like this, you can't see the mistakes. I mean, you can see some mistakes, but not as many of them. So I'm just gonna end the video like this. <laughs> I look like a mess! Alright, let's just do like this. Yes! Oh, what a look. What a look that is. Anyways, 2020 was not a very good year, but 2021 is going to be a better year. Most likely. It can't get much worse. I should not jinx anything. But it is like... It can't get much worse. Oh god, my finger put that finger back on the... Here it is. There it is. So, uh, we're going to have a better year next year. Um, let me know if there are any artists. Why did I stop like that? Let me know if there are any more artists that you want me to replicate the look. I promise I'll get good at this eventually, but I don't know when. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, I guess. Especially subscribe. And yeah, please be good outlets. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please be good outlets. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Jesus. What a mess. <laughs> it's fine. Also, thank you to Dylan for allowing me to replicate your art style. I am so sorry I made your, you and your art look bad. But I hope this was interesting to watch anyways. Oh my god, what a failure I am. Oh uh, my god. But remember guys, uh, go follow Dylan at Nara... Nara Via? Oh my god. I need to like look up how to pronounce this. Guys, I promise you that Dylan's art is a lot better than the makeup I attempted. So please go follow him on Twitter. It's gonna be on the screen. Go follow them, okay? Bye.